Hi, I'm Xinyi. Today, I want to show my model, which is a paper tower. And this is a product which is tightly connects with my topic of my lesson plan. And in this lesson, students are required to compare the differences between the historical buildings and modern buildings. Obviously, our topic today is about history. At the end of year two, students are, should be able to post questions about the past and use sources provided to answer these questions and identify a point of view. And they need to be able to compare objects from the past and the present. In this increasingly culturally diverse and dynamically interconnected world, it is important for ch ch students come to understand their world and the past and present and develop a capacity to respond to challenges now and in the future in innovative, informed, personal and collective ways. In this process of asking questions about buildings and places and working in groups, children can also improve their problem solving, teamwork and negotiation skills. When it comes to my model, I was inspired by the landmark of my city, which is the Yellow Crane Tower. It is a typical Chinese style historical building and it was built in more than 1,000 years ago. I chose it not only because it is easy for children to operate, and the main body of this tower is simply made by folding paper, but also children have opportunity to access to old buildings to feel the differences in appearance compared with modern buildings. By making this modern model, Children may ask questions naturally, such as why did people build such houses in the past? And why this building's edge turned upwards? And why this, uh, what is the purpose of these buildings? Also, because of it is a traditional Chinese building, children have opportunity to contact with diverse culture. For Asian students in the class, their interests are easily aroused by this building, um, which contains obvious cultural symbols, and they will be motivated to introduce their existing knowledge related to this kind of buildings and they will be invited to share their understanding of these historical buildings. Children will be invited to design their tower and they will be asked to prepare various recycled materials to decorate their tower. As you can see from my tower, the body part is just made by recycled paper and it has five stories. For each of the roof, they are decorated by different colors of materials. In the first floor, it is decorated by matchsticks, sticks, and match sticks are cut into short sticks and adhered to the tower. And in the second floor, these colored wooden fragments are made of ice cream sticks, and they are cut into short fragments with beautiful colors. And in the third floor, these are green beans. Beans are good materials for teaching and learning, which can be used for learning counting skills and can be used for, very, uh, for visual arts learning. The fourth floor is plastic straw, and they are also cut into short pieces and adhered to the tower. At the top of the tower, there is a button, and these materials are accessible for children and safe. Children can just collect those materials from their daily life. And as for the joining techniques, the first one I want to introduce is simply tape. And they are accessible for children and connected things uh, tightly together. The second one is clips, as you can see. And um, the five separate towers are clicked together and because I don't have enough clips and at the tower at the top of this tower so I just insert it into the into the whole body and the third one I want to introduce is tape is just using tape tapler 
as you can see from there. And this also can make a tight connected. And the last one I want to say is using strings. And the strings goes through the paper and the button and uh, tight them together. After implementing my lesson plan, and children are encouraged to design their own models. And this model can be made individually, and also for children, they can also be paired to make this model. And one children can be responsible for folding paper and collecting materials, and the other children can be responsible for preparing decorating materials. After making models, students are invited to explain their ideas, the reasons why they chose this materials, and how they're using designing ideas to do their models. What they want to do more to make a better model. Finally, the students themselves select their favorite uh, one and the most creative models and give reasons as the class reflection part. So this is the whole process of my class plan and model making. Thank you so much. Bye.